back to my channel. This is Laura. Today I'm going to show you how I make some spicy orange chicken with some white rice. It's a very simple recipe. You can make it for a crowd. You can make it for individual portions. If you're trying to keep it kid friendly, you can just leave out the red chili peppers and you're good to go for the kids. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget a thumbs up. A comment down below really helps out the channel. I would appreciate that. I will leave the recipe and anything I use down in the description bar. Always take a look there. And I also have another recipe for some chicken fried rice. If you want to take a look at that, I will link it for you up here. It's a very delicious side dish or a meal. We're going to go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, everybody, we're going to make the sweet and sour sauce for the orange chicken. Very simple. We're gonna add, I am doubling the recipe, but the recipe that I'm gonna leave in the description box below is gonna be for half of this. Okay, we added the orange juice. We are going to add the chili sauce, the sweet chili sauce. I will leave everything linked for you below. The only thing different that I'm gonna use due to this sauce, because I love the heat, I'm gonna add some extra chilies. So that was the chili sauce. This is the apricot preserve. We're gonna break this down before we start to add the rest of the stuff. So this is gonna melt down. I'm just gonna break it up, make it easier. Okay, this is starting to simmer. So we're just gonna start mixing this to break up that apricot preserve. I just have it on low heat, guys. I'm not, you know, in a hurry. I also have my white rice. I'm making some white rice with this dish. Very easy. You can prepare everything the night before. Make the sauce the night before. And then fry up your chicken and you're ready to go for dinner. So don't think you can't make this on a weeknight meal for a weeknight meal. It's all about the preparation. Okay, I am going to add the vinegar, the unflavored rice vinegar. And the salt. And of course, I'm going to add the rest of the chili peppers. We're gonna give those a mix and let this sit and cook down for a little bit. And then we're gonna thicken it up with the cornstarch slurry. I have some cornstarch here. We're gonna add some cold water, mix it up, throw it in. Cause you can't throw it in just like this or you'll have a bunch of lumps and it will not be good. So if you wanna keep it kid friendly, of course take out the chili peppers, don't put them in, the red chili. Okay, now I have the cornstarch, I added some cold water and I'm just gonna give it a little mix, make sure everything is incorporated. Okay, and then we're gonna throw it in. It takes it a little bit to start thickening up. Once it thickens up, you're gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer for about five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. The syrup is nice and sticky. We're gonna shut it off. We're just gonna leave it and reserve it. We're gonna get working on our chicken. Delicious. Okay, I will be back. I am back. Oops, I have my rice cooking over here. I have my tempura batter. We are gonna sprinkle. Well, first we're gonna sprinkle the salt into our chicken. So this is uh, roughly three chicken breasts, medium-sized chicken breasts. So this way you know approximately what I'm using. So we're gonna give this a mix, get this chicken seasoned. I'm gonna put in some pepper, some ground pepper. All right, now we're gonna give this a mix and we're also gonna add a few tablespoons of this tempura batter. So we're gonna sprinkle it on here. So that the tempura, once we mix it, will adhere to this. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside, get the salt out of here. We're gonna get our bowl. We're gonna put the rest of our batter in here. And this is a 10 ounce box of tempura mix. Tempura batter mix. I get it at my local grocery store. This I have very cold water. I put some ice cubes in it. Now when you start to mix this, you don't wanna over beat it. It's, you wanna have some lumps in it. So we're gonna beat this. And I already have my skillet going on the stove, my cast iron skillet with some oil. We need to get to 375 degrees with that oil. Okay, I'm gonna pour in my water. And we're gonna mix it, not too roughly. 
this, like I said, this is supposed to have some lumps. Water. See how, how lumpy it is still? Okay, just like that. We're gonna pop in our chicken into the batter. Just pop it all in there because we're gonna fry it in portions. We're not gonna overcrowd our skillet so that they can come out nice and crispy. And I'm gonna move you all over right away over to the cast iron skillet that's waiting for us. I'm gonna check it to make sure we're at the proper temperature. This does not take long at all, guys, to fry. Okay, I'm gonna move you over. We have our oil at 375, right where we need it. I'm gonna start pulling out some pieces and just dropping them. taking them out and letting them uh, drip here on this cooling rack so that they can stay crispy for our sauce. Nice and crispy. Okay, we're going to just keep going with these guys. Okay, I broke it down into a smaller section so you can see how I do this if I'm just serving one. So we're gonna put some of our orange sauce. We're gonna get it nice and hot. We're gonna warm this up. We're just gonna add our uh, chicken pieces in here, our tempura chicken pieces. And I already have my rice right here, some white rice. You can do fried rice, whatever your family like. And this is good to see, so if you have leftovers, you know exactly how to fix this the next day. You're not gonna go through the whole process. Okay, so I have my chicken pieces here. Like I said, I'm doing this on a very small scale. You throw in your crunchy chicken pieces. Mm, then you just mix it up, toss them around. Okay, you can cut off your heat at this point. You don't need the heat. And now we're just gonna plate it. Okay, you can just put it over your, your rice. Look at that, how delicious. Yummy, yummy. Put some on your rice. And then the last thing, we just get a little bit of some green onion. That's it, guys. Look at that. How delicious. Yummy. All right, let's give this a taste. Okay, guys, we're gonna give this a taste. Looks delicious. Get a piece of this chicken with a little bit of rice. Mm -mm. Some sauce. Mmm, very nice. Very good, guys. Mm. The chicken is, the tempura is nice and crunchy. The sauce is nice and citrusy. And on the spicy side, the sauce is nice and spicy. More on the spicy side, citrusy, delicious. And of course, the white rice, you can't have it without white rice. This is very good, guys. I hope you give it a try. Well, thanks for staying with me. Thanks for spending time with me. I appreciate you. I will have the recipe and everything that I used in the description box below. Take a look there. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back with you. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.